Hello everyone, thanks so much for joining me today. My name's Megan and I'm a mom with seven kids and this channel's about life, living in Japan with a large family and just enjoying being a mom. Last week in the chat, Ayaka asked a really great question. She asked um, how we spend time with our kids. So t I thought, well, that's a really great you know, question, a really great topic, so why not make a video about it? So today's video is how we spend time, quality time with our kids. And um, yeah, so first I want to talk to you a little bit about our family culture and then I'll share how my husband spends quality time with each of the kids and then I'll end with how my kids get some mama time. So um, let's see, I guess my goal is that I want my kids to feel loved and I want them to feel connected to me and to each other. So for our family, we really just want to create a culture where we love each other. Um, you know, we're, we don't really deal with the sibling rivalry. Um, I want my kids to feel like love is multiplied. It's not divided between each of them. It's multiplied and they have eight other people in the house that love them and um, that, you know, support, we support each other. And my, it's really sweet to see my older kids um, because they're really uh, loving and gentle with the younger ones. Um, my oldest daughter will take, uh, she'll take turns taking the younger kids out on dates and they'll go um, up to the store and she'll buy them treats and things like that or to the park or um, just spend some time with them. And my son, he likes to take uh, some of his younger sisters to the park on Saturday morning and play with them and just be the great big brother that he is. Um, and then like, I guess a Bible verse that is kind of a theme in our family is 1 John 4, 7, 8, 7 and 8. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God and everyone who loveth is born of God and knoweth God. And he that loveth not not knoweth not God for God is love beloved let us love one another first John 4 7 and 8 and so we just want to create a culture in our family of just loving each other and um, supporting and being there for each other so my kids don't see each other as you know rivals when it comes to my husband and my attention they see each other as another person to love and, um, and that's why they get so excited when we have another baby. <laughs> They're like, yay, more love in the house. So um, it's sweet. But uh, yeah, so we have that culture in our family where we just kind of love each other. And um, yeah, um, another thing is that family time for us is a must. Um, we spend family time together every day. Um, in the mornings, we wake up and have breakfast together before we go to school and work. And then when everyone comes home, we have dinner together where we talk about our day and just kind of listen and spend time together. And then at bedtime, we pray together. And um, on Sundays, we go to church together and worship God together. And, um, and then we have a few family trips throughout the year where we just kind of do some fun things. Um, and kind of like traditions are important because it's things that the kids can count on. So we have special birthday traditions and New Year's traditions and Christmas traditions like we talked about last week. So uh, it's fun. It's fun to have family that's close and together. And um, let's see, my husband, uh, he he says that his goal when he take, when he spends time with the kids is to make them feel heard um, that they can say anything to him and to feel that he cares about them. And one of the ways that he does that is he'll take each of them out on dates a couple times a year. Each of them get a turn, um, usually around their birthday. And then, you know, just throughout the year, um, he tries to take turns. So each of them have that time with him and uh, he'll just usually take them out to eat or, you know, to do something fun that they like that they can share together. Um, another thing that he's really good at and is that he really invests in their hobbies. Um, so for my son, it's recently, uh, he's gotten into astronomy. So they, 
you know, look up stars and constellations, and they just got a telescope, like, last night, they went shopping and bought one, so that they could look at the stars. Um, he goes scuba diving with, uh, two of my daughters are certified scuba divers, so they do that together. Um, he'll usually take the little ones out for ice cream one at a time, so that everybody, everybody gets daddy time, and everybody gets to, you know, just have that special one-on-one -on -one time. Um, for me, uh, I like to make myself available within like the daily rhythm of life. So something that is important is that I give the kids, you know, a hug every day, like, and that might sound like really basic, but especially when they get older and they don't come running up to you and they're not hanging on you all day long, um, just giving them that physical hug every day is really important for the big kids too. And they won't ask for it, but they need it. <laughs> um, another thing is uh, eye contact. So if I'm washing the dishes or something and they come in the room, I look at them in the eye, I say hi, I greet them. Um, it just makes them feel seen and uh, acknowledged. Um, another thing that I do is when when I'm on an errand, I'll usually just grab a kid and bring them with me. Um, and it gives them an opportunity to talk um, and just spend one-on-one -on -one time together. And uh, something that's really helped me is um, the book by Gary Chapman, The Five Love Languages. It's, I highly recommend it. I read it when I, in our beginning of our marriage and in the beginning of my parenting. And it's just really eye-opening. It tells, it talks about how each of us um, have a primary love language where we can, where we give and we receive love in a way that we feel the most. So um, I think it's like through acts of service, of physical attention, um, spending quality time together, um, gifts is one and there's another but I highly recommend the book it's been really uh, instrumental in my parenting because each of my kids have a different love language so knowing what that is and then applying that to that child um, it makes them feel loved the most and um, it really amplifies the time that I have with them so um, like for my oldest daughter, it's hugs. She's her one of her primary love languages is physical affection. So giving her hug makes her feel loved. And um, for my son, you know, he's not quite a big talker. So um, you know, going for a car ride with him is good, but um, going for a bike ride with him is even better because it's something that he enjoys and he doesn't really need always to verbalize in talk but he really loves spending time together so if we go for a bike ride or go for a walk together in the woods or something that really makes him feel loved and it's something that you know maybe we're gonna do anyway um, but just doing it in a way that makes him feel loved um, another one is um, my daughter loves to talk about her art so giving her my attention looking at her pictures um, even at the table for dinner or at the breakfast table, just letting her share her artwork with us makes her feel loved. Um, and then whenever I pick up my little ones from school, I turn off the radio and I just let them talk. <laughs> they love to just talk and talk about their day and just listening to them and responding to them makes them feel loved. And of course, lots of hugs and, and cuddles for the little ones. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's something that I, I also do is I pray that God will give me insight into each of their hearts so that I can really connect with them and see where their needs are. And um, it's really the Lord's grace and blessing and leading um, that helped me to be a better mom. So um, let's see. Yeah, I, I wrote notes. I knew I was going to get on and then totally forget about everything I was going to say. So I'll get so much better at this as we go, but today I'm reading off my notes a little bit. So thanks for uh, 
bearing with me. Um, drop me a line. Tell me, you know, where you're from. I love hearing from you. I love, I, that's why I'm on YouTube is I just really want to be an encouragement. I want to just um, be there for you. I know that as moms, we just, we just need each other. We just need each other to be real and authentic and just um, be there for each other. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much for joining me. If this video was helpful or inspiring or encouraging in any way, please hit the subscribe button and like this video and we'll just keep making more. And uh, I pray that God will bless you and encourage you and that you'll have an awesome day today. So thanks so much for joining me and see you next time.